Next up, it's time for the global market wrap. Oil rose for a third day as traders assessed supply risks in West Asia, with Israel expected to make a retaliatory strike against Iran following the Iran's missile barrage earlier this week. Brent crude climbed towards $75 a barrel after advancing almost 3% over the last two sessions. Oil extended its rally into Asian trading as investors await Israel's response to Iran's missile attack, with U.S. President Joe Biden urging Israel to hold off from attacking Iran's nuclear facilities. The oil market has been transfixed by the latest crisis in West Asia. This comes after a year of unrest as Israel confronts Iran and its allies in Yemen, Gaza, Lebanon and other regions. The region accounts for over one-third of the world's crude supply. So traders are understandably worried that the latest escalation might disrupt supplies if energy installations are targeted or supply routes are closed. Now, in Asia, Japanese stocks rose after the nation's new prime minister dampened speculation about another interest rate hike, weakening the currency. The yen suffered its biggest drop in over two years and hit its weakest level in a month versus the dollar. This comes after Japan's new Prime Minister Shigeru Ishiba jolted currency markets by saying the economy isn't ready for another rate hike. Renewed vigor in the dollar added to the pressure on the yen as stronger than expected ADP jobs data led traders to, to pair bets amid aggressive Fed rate cuts. As a result, the yen faces a double whammy from renewed Fed and BOJ divergence. Hong Kong stocks opened lower after their surge on Wednesday. Australian shares were little changed, as were contracts for the S&P 500 after the index ended flat overnight. Markets are closed in mainland China and South Korea. A strong rebound in Chinese stocks is set to trigger a shift in global portfolios as some investors rush to catch the rally. A wave of money which earlier left Chinese equities in favour of stocks from Japan and Southeast Asia is poised to reverse course after Beijing's latest stimulus blitz.